Vala Mongulis. Sandor Clegane, the Hound, welcome to Thronecast. Woof. Is this the most brutal, gory and action-packed show on television, do you think? In a nutshell, yes. I think Game of Thrones, ultimately, people say it's about dragons, it's about the battle for the throne. It's actually about four or five very dysfunctional families. It's a great setting, it's a great world, it's great fantasy, but ultimately, unless you care about the people and believe in the people, you're not going to go along with it, and that's what I love about it. They make it as real for you as possible in this fantasy world. Like, there is, you know, minimum CGI. Uh, it's five hours, the process. Um, so I'm in makeup for five hours prior to getting onto set. So if we're working with actual daylight, which we were in the last series, uh, we were in makeup at one o'clock in the morning. He seems like a character who's got almost as if he's got a line of dominoes in a line and he just sets one off, but what he wants to happen is at the end, as if he's got an incredibly careful overarching plan. They really aren't short term, you know, I, I flick this domino here and tomorrow that domino over there is going to go on. It's ingenious and risky. The dogs that we filmed with, we were yeah. sort of told when we were rehearsing with them, like, don't make eye contact with them because that's their <laughs> cue to kill. Kind of a little bit naughty, and I did just have a little... Little look at the Little top. wink. Hiya. Oh, Hiya. Yeah. <laughs> Brian knows exactly where he's going. It's almost as if he's got, like, the longitude and latitude coordinates from this magical tree. You know, he's, 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 ha he's had distractions previously to try and sort of guide him away, um, but this is the absolute final. I know exactly where I'm going. And so he spoke, and so he spoke, that lord of Castamia. But now the rains weep o'er his hall, with no one there to hear. Wow!